and I'm on Mobcam, and I'm unboxing perhaps the biggest, baddest, mamma jammiest graphic novel lot. This is number four in the series, if you're counting along with me. Yes, I'm a reading machine these days, so yeah, come on into the chat. Come on in. Jump on in. Grab them keyboards. Grab them phones. Grab them typewriters that you, you hooked up with crazy technology. Yes, come on in. We're live, and this is huge. This is a gigantic box. Oh, this is big. Oh, this is big. Oosh. So, um, in case you don't know the story on these, what I've done is I went on to eBay, Electronic Bay, and I uh, I got me some uh, graphic novels. But I didn't just pick and choose and say that, all this and that. No, 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 no. That is not what I've done. No, what I did is I... Uh, uh, the, someone's like, it's a lot, and they had a big old lot of stuff, like their collections being sold. They asked me stuff I liked. Yeah, I said, like, Batman and Star Wars, Superman and Spider-Man, you know, a lot of standard stuff. So maybe there'll be some stuff in there that I said, like, yeah, I like that stuff. Maybe there'll be other stuff. Ew, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. So welcome in, Ben the Vlogger. Hello, Jean-Baptiste Emmanuel Zorg. Are you alone? Are any of us alone? Really? So yes, I'm doing this on a, whoa, hit the camera, idiot, don't do that, don't do that, that's bad. So, um, yeah, I'm on Mobcam, it's an awesome app, allows me to do this live, chatting with you, unboxing live. So yeah, uh, so get you some Mobcam if you get the chance, it's a wonderful app, you can get on your phone, and uh, chat with everybody on the Facebook, the YouTube, all that stuff, that's how I'm talking with you guys and doing this live, it's dummy proof, that's how I'm doing this. So I'm going to open this up here. There's a lot in here. This is a heavy, heavy, heavy duty box. What's everybody reading right now as far as uh, comics go? You guys reading some comics? What are you reading? Some comics? I'm reading, uh, what is that I'm reading right now? It's the, uh, oh, the Fallen Sun, uh, The Death of Captain America. It's by Jeff Loeb. So I'm reading right now. But after I'm done with that, I might be done. Oh, I mean, I need some new stuff. So I got this. Need new stuff to read. We're gonna check them out. See what it is. So hit like, hit subscribe. Do all that stuff. Do all the stuff. Do stuff. And we'll check it out. Alright, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. Let's cut this open. Gotcha. Man, this is thick. They use a lot of tape. Yes. This is gonna be a mega one. It's gonna be huge. Give me one for the ages. Thanos couldn't even snap this away. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Because he likes jazz. Jazz. Uh, let me see. Ben the Vlogger saying, Before, I read Star Wars Jedi school comics. What? The teacher had me a Jedi in school? I just learned that arithmetic. Boy, do I feel like a major dum dum. <gasps> oh, sensory comics. Ah, yes. Oh, I think it's Braille. Oh, I ruined the story. What have I done? Ah. Ah. Oh, that's so fun. Uh, what does the Joker do with bubble wrap? You think the Joker likes it? I would think he would not murder as many people if Batman just goes, Hey, just calm down, will you? There's some bubble wrap. And Joker's like, I'll get you, Batman. Ooh, never mind, I'm good. Just a theory. Just a theory. Look at this. Right off the bat here. We got a little old uh, series known as The Walking Dead. Oh, once they get into The Jogging Dead, I am so in. Uh, Moy from Nam, hello. Welcome on into the chat. We're doing this huge graphic novel. Lots. It's a mystery. I don't know what these things are that I'm going to be unboxing here. I don't know. But right away we see Volume 5. Look at that. That's so cool. I didn't know they did that. If you line them up side by side, they... They match up? Oh, I gotta give the other half of old lady face. Or old man face. See, once I get the other half, then I'll know. Then I'll know. Uh, so look at that. So, oh, look at those. Those are nice cool jeans. So I've, I've read, hmm, I would guess, as far as trade paperbacks go, I probably read like the first ten graphic novels of Walking Dead. So now I have them in my collection before I borrowed them. Faze Bright, what's up? Yo, what's up, guys? Gabriel Robius. Hello, welcome on in. You like the cover? Well, thanks. 
Face bright. Hello, welcome on in. Want to welcome on in? More for name is saying unbox some Sonic toys only if they have his distorted movie face. Oh, then, then, uh, yes. Ben the vlogger also read Diary of the Wimpy Kid. I hear that's great. I hear that's enjoyable for all ages. Which that's what I am. I'm an all age. So let's see. Uh, let's see a bit of Volume Five right off the bat here. Let's see, uh, yes, graphic novel. Yeah, this takes me back. I read this a long time ago. I would find out about the show. And then, um, let me see, what did I watch first? I I think I actually read the graphic novels right before the show had come out. So everybody's like, oh, you gotta read it, man. You gotta read it. What are you gonna do? Watch it? Like some kind of jerk? And I'm like, well, I guess not. And then I read probably, probably like up to this area right here. And then started watching the show. And then I was one of those where I'm like, oh. The graphic novel is far better than the television show, but they're both good. But I stopped watching the the show, and I uh, would have definitely read more Walking Dead if I just kept up. But I liked it a lot. Did like it a lot. More for name saying, uh, check out some SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball. I've never seen any Dragon Ball. I gotta watch Dragon Ball. It's like it looks like it's pro wrestling, but um, with crazy superpowers, and they're just trying to end the world all the time. Am I wrong? Isn't that it, isn't it like wrestling? I mean, it's just battle after battle. Uh-oh! Losing a hand. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. Things don't go well for you here. Oh, there's the little angry girl. Uh, the governor's daughter. Oh, she's a, she's a hoot, that one. TTV, Xbox Assassin. Hello, welcome on in. We're unboxing a huge graphic novel lot. Or off eBay. All the mystery to me. Don't know what's in here. Um, oh, whoever got this originally got it from Borders. That's amazing. Don't see those stickers around no more. Borders is gone, you see. So, uh, yeah, that's a bunch of graphic novels. I don't know what's in there. Uh, just chose some stuff that I like, but they had told me on eBay, like, oh, we'll send you whatever. So they're selling their collection, and I'm getting their collection. I got it for a good price, too. Oh, I saved a buck or two, I did. So, yeah, there's uh, Volume 5. The best defense. And now here's this sorrowful life. Oh, oh, poor Rick. Oh, he's smelling himself. He's like, oh, I need a shower so bad. Zombie apocalypse makes you smell like a big pile of dung. Oh, yeah, there he is. Handless now. My for name is asking, who is the one that yells your channel name in your intro? That's me. Yeah, that's right. Years of choir training finally paid off when I harmonized with myself. That's two tracks of me doing that that I put together. Doing the low and the, doing the high. And that's me. That's me doing it. Who else would it be? Nigel McGinnis? That's absurd. Uh, so, oh, gra that's too graphic. We can show zombies getting all slashed up. Swash. Look at that. Look at that. Michonne. Michonne slashing up zombies left and right. Oh, this is good stuff. I can't wait to read through these again. Hey, you tear through them fast. Like Walking Dead, it just, it's a quick read. But it's good. Oh, it's real good. Uh, Gabriel Robias saying zombies are very disturbing in The Walking Dead. I agree. I agree. What do you guys prefer uh, Walking Dead-wise? Do you like the show better or the graphic novel better? Let me know. Let's talk about it. Um, hey, all right. <laughs> Did I just get a box of, oh boy. All right, when does it end? Oh, okay. I got two more Walking Deads here. I'll tell you what, let's put these aside for a little bit. Let's check out some other stuff. Unbox Fortnite action figures, says TTV Xbox Assassin. I will. I've done some in the past, and I'm waiting for some new ones to come out that I'll uh, definitely get my, my little grubby fingers on, and I'll do some more uh, Fortnite action figures. But if you're subscribed to the channel, you'll see that I've done some already. I've done some. Oh, Thief of Thieves. Kirkman. Oh, hey, wait. What? I can't escape Robert Kirkman, I don't... Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's impossible. It's Image and Skybound here, but I think it's Robert Kirkman, same dude who writes Walking Dead. Robert Kirkman! My goodness. He's everywhere. He's, he's in my life. So, okay, story by Robert Kirkman, and writer is Nick Spencer. Oh. Ah, prologue. Looks at a wall. Mmm, that's a good wall. Good thing I'm rich. All right? Am I predicting how things are going here? Oh, he's got a band-aid on his cheek. 
that means he can't be trusted. NBD Bats, hello, do I remember you? That's so strange that it is often the question that I'm immediately asked. Hi, do you remember me? Um, I remember everything until the day I don't, and then I'll remember nothing. But it won't be prejudice, and it won't be uh, because of uh, how I'm treated. I just won't remember anyone anymore ever again. Uh, but yes, I remember you in the chat before. Welcome on back in. Hello. At some point, there's going to be thousands of you, and I'll never know all your names. And uh, you'll be like, you remember me? And be like, Sh uh, sure. When I say Sh uh, sure, that's when you know I don't remember you. But I apologize, and I appreciate you coming in and being excited. I'm asking what everybody's currently reading right now. If you guys are reading uh, comic books, uh, what are you reading? I'm reading uh, Captain America one right now. But let's chat about it. Let's chat some comic books. This looks, this definitely looks interesting. I don't know of this series at all. Doesn't necessarily look action-packed. Looks very dramatic. Very dramatic. Oh, somebody got mowed down. Somebody got mowed down right there. Do we have a deal or not? I'm probably talking with Howie Mandel. That's his show, right? Deal or no deal? Or St. Elsewhere? Which one are we talking about here? Ooh, check out them games. Uh, Moy for Nim is asking, do I have any kids? Um, no, I do not have any children. I have, uh, I have all the children of the world who, who can be fan- I don't know what I'm saying there. <laughs> a bunch of garbage that was. I was trying to say some, like, Hallmarky, you know, like, Ah, all the children of the world are my children, because I believe in love and peace for all. <laughs> Barf. Sorry, I barfed a little bit. Uh, no, I don't have any kids, uh, but I um, think being a man-child kind of fills the role, right? Uh, you know, I remember to feed myself every so often when I can. So yeah, this looks uh, looks interesting. Looks like a dramatic comic book. The same dude who did Walking Dead, Thief of Thieves. Looks like Alec Baldwin right there, right? Ugh. See all these other characters here? Oh, fat bald guy with cigar. Don't trust him. The three guys that are wearing tracksuits... Don't trust them. And then some people right out of a Kevin Smith movie, it looks like. And then a, uh, ooh, tatted lady who's dressed, uh, sneaks into her butt. Oh, fantastic. So this one's called I Quit. This is side panel, you know, volume one out of 80,000. Uh, Jam, cool boy, hello, welcome on in. My friend Am saying, do more Pokemon videos. I perhaps will do more Pokemon stuff. I know there's a bunch more Pokemon stuff. People lost interest in Pokemon for a while. I was doing the Pokemon videos, and people were like, ah, get that out of here. So I was like, all right, well, we'll find. And then now they're saying no more. Do more of the Pokemon. All right, fine. Oh, cool. Hey, cool. I got uh, the first omnibus of Hack Slash, and now I have the second omnibus of Hack Slash. Tell you what, I'll move this off to the side a little bit. You can still see kind of like. Uh, and get a little preview of stuff to come in there. But then, what I'll do is I'll have it here so that way I can lower it more. There we go. There we go. Get the full thing in the shot there. Move this out of the way some. How's everybody doing? Is everybody good watching? You chat, you know, you ask questions, do all that sort of stuff. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You got them typing fingers. Uh, this one, uh, Hack Slash Omnibus, I haven't started this one yet. I've been wanting to. I know it's a heck of a read. Look at the thickness. It's big. Look at my finger. So yeah, it's uh, normally retails for $34.99. It's horror action. Uh, winner, best rookie book, 2008 from ProjectFanboy.com. Beyond sequels, beyond remakes, there is Hack Slash. So um, in almost every Slash movie, there's one girl who makes it all the way to the end. She's the survivor, the final girl. Meet Cassie Hack, the lone survivor. I'm an attack by the vicious slasher known as the Lunch Lady. <laughs> a killer who happened to be Cassie's mother! <gasps> what? Now, Cassie and her monstrous partner, Vlad, travel the country hunting down and killing slashers before they can leave a trail of blood and terror. That's very cool. Uh, more for name saying, uh, it'll get more views if you do Dragon Ball toys. You'll get more views if I do Dragon Ball figures. Well, I will take your advice. And I will uh, see what I can do. But there's a lot of stuff. I got a lot of things piled up. Uh, a lot of stuff sent to me. So I will I will put it in the queue. I will put it in the queue. Now I'm going to look at this one a little bit off camera here. To make sure I'm not showing something super graphic. Like, oh, can't show any of that. Hey, 
Here's some nice artwork of people not <laughs> slashing each other up and murdering each other. That's nice, isn't that nice? Look, there's a plant amongst this masked gentleman with a big machete. Look at the nice little tree. Isn't that nice? Um, and he talks weird. The address, is it near? Yes. And then uh, what, else can I, what else can I show you? Uh, I can show you this, like creepy creatures. That's neat looking right there. Things looks like it's out of Star Wars, like hanging around the Sarlacc pit. Old Sarlacc pit face. Yeah, let me just uh, look at a little bit more off of the old camera here. I'll show you this side. All right, so we got some sort of lonely, <laughs> like toxic crusader, uh, toxic avenger, you know, more specifically, uh, a creature here that's like out in the west. But, whoa, you got a kiss. Got a kiss from a lady. Isn't that nice? Says, uh, you're not going anywhere, smooch. Well, that's true. That'll get me to stop doing stuff. Big old smooch from a cute lady. Tell you what. All right, so we got other stuff here. There's a lot of super violent things that I'm going past here in order to show you something, show you some of the artwork and all that stuff. Who wrote this? Who's the writer? Who's who's the writer of these? <gasps> Time Dallas Page. No. Um, let's see here. Uh, writer, 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 writer. Oh, Tim Seeley. Oh, I've seen that name a few times now. Tim Seeley. Uh, <laughs> my first name saying, I hope that they have naked girls in that book you're looking at. I've seen some scantily clad women. Haven't seen anything nude yet. Whoa, then we do a switch of the art styles here. We got like an Archie type art styles. Look at that. So there's definitely some interesting stuff going on in this here. In this here graphic novel. Let's see here. Oh, it goes on that way for a little bit. Oh, we got another artist here. Oh, ooh, show, don't show that down there. That was bad news. Uh, so yeah, different art style. Again, this is a really cool artist right here. I, I'm digging this style. Uh, let's see here. Let's keep going. Nope, can't show that. Nope, can't show that. Whoa, there's naked girls. Hey, all right. Um, and uh, oh, burning people and uh, police and um, is there anything? Nope, nope. Nope, nope, whoa, definitely nope. Um, well, if you're of the mature age, hey, this might be a great graphic novel for you. Uh, there's a thing. Look, someone's opening their eye. I can show you that. That's probably enough for that one. So that's intense. That's intense. All right, let's see here what we got here. What we got here. What we got here. What we got here. Wanted. Oh, yeah, wait a second. Yeah, this is Wanted. So this is the... Uh, Mark Miller, who I like very, very much. I've read uh, Superior. No, I didn't read Superior. I read, uh, what's it? That's not Superior. Obviously, Superman Red Sun, some of his Avengers stuff, um, some of his uh, other Superman comics from the Adventures and all that. But uh, what am I thinking of? Nemesis. That's what I read, Nemesis. I never watched the movie. Is this the bullet curving one? Is that what this is? Um, I'm sure this is much more awesome than that movie. So uh, let's see here. It collects wanted issues one through six, as well as the wanted dossier. The wanted trade paperback reveals an alternate version of life right outside your window, where the villains are the heroes and the bad guys rule the world. That's cool. I take that. Also read, of course, uh, you know, The Kingsman. And I love The Kingsman. I love the movies. I love the books. All that stuff. So uh, cubicle dwelling Wesley Gibson thought he was the same as everyone else. Wesley's life changes the day he discovers he is the son of the killer, a member of an underground fraternity of supervillains who have secretly been running the world since 1986. Brought in the fraternity after his father is slain, Wesley comes into his own abilities as the new killer and a veil is lifted from his eyes as he sees the world he never knew was there. In a world where all the superheroes are dead, Wesley joins the villains while trying to unravel the mystery of his father's murder. Wesley Gibson is a son, a killer, a hero, and a wanted. But uh, so let's see. More if your name is saying unbox some horror toys like uh, Chucky and stuff like that. You know, I've done a couple like the minifigs of uh, horror stuff, so uh, it's definitely not uh, not for nothing with that. Like I dig those things. What? Is this part of the... 
Is this part of the graphic novel? That someone put diamond in there? And it's a little like sticky tab? Is that a thing? Is that, is that a thing? Or did someone just put in a, a thing of like diamond? <laughs> diamond. Hey, naked dudes! I got all the nakeds in these things. Oh, I'm set for days. Oh, if only there's naked fish. Oh, naked fish. Well, all right. I just don't want to be prejudiced against fish. Look, everybody can be naked in my graphic novels. That's fine. What is that? There's like weird creature guys here. Look at that. And there's uh, definitely a lot of gunplay. A lot of all that stuff. Let's go back to the beginning. I got thrown by that diamond thing so much. Diamond. That's got to be the person who is put packaging all this up, right? That can't be. That can't be. That can't be. All right, let's see here. This goes high on the list of something I want to read because I like Mark Miller a lot. So this is definitely a win in the uh, categories of what I got here. So yeah, let's let's see here. Kirkman, I dig. This didn't seem very action packed, but this might be a sleeper hit. So I'd say it's a a win, but an unenthusiastic win. And plus, it's number one, so I'll have to buy like all thirty seven of them. This is great, the Hack Slash Omnibus, because it's a continuation of another one that I got. So that's a win, keeping the series going. Walking Dead, nice to have the collection, but, uh, you know, I have read them. I don't know which one I left off on, but that's cool. So, so far, this is like the thing I'm most excited for because it's something totally new, and uh, I know a bit of the source material. I dig the writer a lot, which I know I'm describing now, as I say it with Thief of Thieves with Kirkman, but, uh, like, this is, this is also a movie, so that's, like, super cool. All right, so now I'm getting a spoiler territory. So this seems cool. All right, Wanted. Also a volume one, so to be fair, I probably have to get like 90 of these as well. Have I heard of NECA, Hot Toys, Bandai, and other toy companies? Yes, what do you think, I'm a rookie? I've been doing this for a long time, good sir. Um, yeah, I've done all kinds of stuff. Like, I've done the major things, the smaller things. I've done the gamut. I have done so many toys, and I continue to do more. Uh, but, you know, so also one only has a budget of so much. RP, hello, welcome on into the chat. We're doing some graphic novels here. Oh, whoa, whoa now, here we go. Wildstorm is the company, and Star Trek is the graphic novel. All of me. All right, we got Kirk, we got Spock, and we got uh, Obsessive Orb Guy. I don't trust Obsessive Orb Guy, <laughs> right? Seems like he's bad news. Let's see here. Oh, this is one of the smaller ones, so it's, it's only five ninety-five. Was the price? Oh, look at that. I'm trying to find it on a shelf and look in there. Like, what's it? Uh, Star Trek. Balls on me. Yes. No. All of me. When a f brilliant former classmate of Spock's develops a bizarre device that can bridge parallel worlds, it's up to the crew of the USS Enterprise to save more than just our universe. Hmm, all right, you got me intrigued there. So it's got the, the crew, it talks to Scotty, Uhura, McCoy, all the good peeps. They're doing stuff. So it's pretty short, so I don't want to run through the whole thing here, because otherwise, like, I'll just see the end. Whoa, it's a knife fight right away with green people. Green aliens. Oh, that's cool. I guess uh, it's exciting. Uh, check out McFarlane Toys, uh, Academia figures, and One Punch figure. I've done a lot of McFarlane toys as well. So yeah, there's been a lot of that stuff. So if you subscribe to the channel, you'll see a lot of those things on the page there. Um, I've also done some uh, high-end figures, uh, like the Jack Bird and Big Trouble and Little China figure. You know, if you didn't know about that, the Sideshow Collectibles, I've unboxed those in the past as well, so you can check those out. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It looks. I don't know if this was um, an original story of the Star Trek story or if this was perhaps an episode that they converted into a comic book i hope it's an original story actually looking at that move there's no way they did that in the show there's no way shatner did a jump kick right shatner couldn't do that he's like Ugh, my hair fell off and then grabbing ears that's a tv show move right there that i could see them doing i'll grab his ears and make him hurt in his eardrums that's my shatner it's not a very good shatner shut up all right, so there's that. It's very short, so, um, all right, that's, that's cool. Uh-oh, keeps on going. Keeps on going. I got some more, uh, Star Trek here. Let's see here. Oh, this is Next Generation, though. I do like the original Star Trek, but hey, Next Generation is my bread and butter. There's Picard. 
Oh no, I've grown bigger than the ship. I'll never be able to fit in now and have my Earl Grey tea. Oh no. Oh, we got some holodeck stuff right in here. Looks like Data and maybe Deanna Troy. I don't know, or just a damsel. As he's being Sherlock. Embrace the wolf. This raises a lot of questions here. This looks very interesting. I am excited for Picard. The new show, Picard, CBS. Man, I am in, in, in. Who else is excited for that? Anybody? 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 A Federation-aligned planet is thrown into chaos by a wave of sudden, inexplicable violence. When the USS Enterprise arrives to investigate, the source of this madness is gripping the planet uh, as it boards the ship and it reveals itself to be the entity Red Jack from the classic Star Trek episode Wolf in the Fold. Ooh, I don't remember that one. Anyone else remember that one? Mm, seeking revenge against the Federation for its treatment at the hands of Captain Kirk. Oh, this is a follow-up. That's cool. I dig that. Uh, so let's see here. What we got here? Some stuff in the comic here. Oh, everybody's got bad backs. Look at this. All right, so right off the bat here, like, oh, yes, number one, we're here and doing all this stuff. And then, oh, oh, my back. Oh, it's gone terribly wrong. I'm at 90 degree angle. Oh, number one. And then boom! Explosions. Man, they know how to start it off. Throw in some bad backs and explosions. I am in. All right, this seems interesting. Uh, it seems, like I said, super action packed. There's Data, there's everybody, there's Worf. It's Beverly Crusher. Dr. Beverly Crusher, that is. How dare I not acknowledge her doctorate. All right, so then there's some stuff here. People are sad. Oh, aliens, what will they do? And then, uh oh Beverly Crusher gets, like, possessed by a demon or something there. Look at that. Jumps right into her uh, chest area. Uh-oh. And then there's old Data Robot face. Captain, I think it'd be best if we changed up my hairdo every so often. You know, why don't they give Data a new hairdo, right? Doesn't that seem fair? Just every so often that he just gets... Like a new hairstyle? It's always slicked back. It's always slicked back. Always the same color. Don't you think he'd want a little bit of change? I mean, he has an emotions chip. Don't you think he'd want a little something extra? Oh, we're doing like Jack the Ripper type stuff here. Look at that. Data is Sherlock, and then we got some sort of Jack the Ripper thing going on here. Yeah, this looks pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Also, one of the cheaper ones here. Let's see. This is a $5.95 Wildstorm uh, DC Comics. That's cool. That's cool. I dig that. Gonna have uh, some water here as I keep going through this epic, epic box. So thanks for joining in, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Be sure to comment below. Be sure to, you know, uh, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Join on in the conversation. How about ye? Oh, Punisher Max. Cool. Uh, let's see here. Girls in white dresses. Uh oh explicit content. I don't think I'm going to be able to show much of this one either. Let's see here. Greg Hurwitz and Lawrence Campbell. All right, so then we see all these dead dolls. That's creepy. Hey, look, it's another one from Borders. All right, this guy, he just got rid of his Borders collection. Or maybe worked at Borders. Or she. Or she. So it collects Punisher 61 through 65. Uh, and then there's some description of stuff. Bag of money. Uh, bounty Hunters, uh, Punisher Can't Abide. All right, I like it. But there's a sticker covering up most of it, so I can't read it all. Juice. All right, so I'm going to be sure to check this one a little bit before I show it off, too. Just make sure it's, like, not Punisher just blowing someone's face away. All right. It's Punisher cruising around, doing his thing. Anybody watch Punisher on Netflix yet? Anybody do that? I have yet to start. Because I want a couple seasons that are, that are uh, done and made. Before I just like immediately jump into it. Because I know I'll finish it and go, oh man. But now what do I watch? Even though there's like tons of stuff to watch. Hey, naked. Uh, I think that's a guy. Oh boy. So many nakeds. All right. And then there's uh, crazy criminals right there with bags over their heads. Laughing. Oh, that's not good. Oh, naked lady. Mm. Yeah, explicit content. Oh, that's explicit. Mm, that's explicit. Uh, uh, here we go. Scenery. <laughs> and people doing a thing. Walking around. 
All right, so the art style is pretty cool. I dig it. It's very uh, grizzly. Very grizzly. Uh, Moifernam is uh, saying in the chat, do a house tour uh, of, of uh, the White House. I can't get in there. I don't have the clearance. Man, have I tried? Have I tried? Have I tried? Uh, at some point, I will do a studio tour. It's still uh, what I'm working on in progress. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I've been reconstructing lately and doing all that. So in time, that will happen. But right now, it's a big old mess. It's a big old mess. So I'm excited for this. There's definitely some explicit content here. So this, uh, let's do this. So this is the wind pile. This is like the, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm for it. Like it's still a wind, but not like super enthusiastic pile. So let's do that. And this is just, uh, that goes here. And these go, meow. So that's like super wind. And this is moderate wind. That's what I'm going with that. Moderate one. All right, let's go back to a Walking Dead. We see another one here. This is volume seven. Oh, I got the other half of old lady face. Let's look. Uh, uh, yes. Yes. I've done it. All right, let's look at, oh, wait, well, all these, do all these work? Okay, so that, those two go together. These go together. And then, does this go together? <gasps> it doesn't. What's the point? This is stupid now. I hate it. Dumb. But, oh, that, well, I think I realized why. This is volume 20. <laughs> We've jumped up a little bit. So let's put these back. Let's put these here. All right, so this is volume seven. The calm before. Oh, put the cookies down, fatty. Gee whiz, you're in a zombie apocalypse and just chomp, 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 chomp on cookies. My goodness, fatty boombaladdy. It's a pregnant lady, gonna have a baby, gonna have a baby in the zombie apocalypse. And so, cool stuff here. Continuation of the story. They're at the prison at this point. Uh, Rick's in bad, bad shape. Uh, the wife is still rocking. The governor's uh, mounting forces. And uh, things... I mean, do things ever go well in The Walking Dead? Is there ever a long period of time where they're like, Hey, you know what? Asparagus! We got asparagus, everybody! We're gonna be okay. Our pee's gonna smell a little weird, but we're gonna be okay. Asparagus. And then, uh, oh, zombies are attacking. Zombies, zombies, zombies. Chomping and chomping. Zombie chomps. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. Oh, preggers. Preggers. And then, yeah, so I've definitely read through these as well. It's very exciting stuff. Definitely leading up to the whole big attack with the governor and all that. So this is seven. So I must have gotten through up to, like, ten or so. I, I know I've read up to Negan showing up. And making his presence known. So, what's that like? Maybe 11, 12? Am I further than I think I am? All right, well, that's exciting. So, more of the collection. But this one's new to me. So, this this is 20. This might be going way past where I've read. Or maybe it's like right at the spot. But it's All Out War Part 1. Okay, so that's cool. So, number 20. Right there, Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Uh, how many hours in a day do you need zombies in your life? Let's see here. Just to look around a little bit around the bank. Oh, Rick's with a lady. I don't recognize her. So, so far, this doesn't seem like anything I've read before. Oh, there's Negan. Okay, so Negan is here, and there's a war. I am not this far in the story, whether it's the TV show or the graphic novel. But this is all new to me. And oh boy, we got zombies too. That is cool. That is cool. Is Walking Dead still going as far as the graphic novels? Like, is Kirkman still? I'm doing it. I'm just gonna, I don't know. Uh, zombies, like, uh, yeah, they're lawyers now, right? And um, uh, I, I know, and there'll be a whole judicial system with uh, with uh, zombies. Yeah, and they'll, they'll institute their own uh, medicine. Yeah, and. Uh, 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 I'm almost out of ideas, but uh, not quite yet. <laughs> Ooh, is it still going? Because if it is, I mean, I guess I really got to catch up here and uh, really rock these comics because I never did not not enjoy them. Let me make that more confusing. I've always enjoyed these. Uh, I just stopped uh, reading them because the person who was borrowing from them didn't have any more. So that's cool. That goes in the major win, even though that's jumping ahead and that's difficult for me to, like, I can't just read that one. I got to... I gotta get everything. 
Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, cool. The Darkness. Deluxe Collected Edition. Now, I had heard about The Darkness being graphic novels and comics and all that, but I knew The Darkness from the Xbox 360 game. Uh, I'd heard a lot about it, and I played it like right when it came out, and I was way into it. I thought it was super cool. And uh, now, I have the comics. This is cool. Printed in Canada. What can't they do? All right, so let's see here. This was, when was this? 1998. Cool. What a time. Oh, what a time it was. So let's see here. Uh, I'm excited for this. Top Cow. What's Top Cow? All right, so the darkness, as I recall, it's like you were affiliated with gangsters or gangsters like got you and you're an innocent guy or just a you know a guy that's down on his luck and then you had your lady but then something happens where mafia tries to kill you or they do but then you're also infected with like these little demon guys like these four demon things and then they help you out and then you're uh you're super strong and you have them at your side and I just remember it was a first-person shooter adventure, so it seems pretty cool. And now I can read about it, uh, which is awesome. Let's see if I can find some of the little demon guys here. That is, if it does, if the game did follow the story of this, uh, unless they adapted it, and I don't really know about it. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, I guess that's you doing the thing, and then you get the little things running around doing doing things. My friend, I'm saying, if you let time pass in a zombie apocalypse, eventually Mother Nature will kill them. I guess that's true. Mr. 99 Boss, welcome on in to the chat. How are you? You're going to donate. Do I want you to? Heck, if you want to donate, you go right ahead. If you want to hit like, you want to hit subscribe, you want to hit share, you do any of that fine stuff. I appreciate you watching. And if you want to donate, if anybody wants to donate to the channel, you are super awesome for doing so. And I appreciate it. Uh, but there is no obligation it is just something that will help out and make the show bigger, better, and more awesome. Just like the darkness. Ooh, the darkness. What is his name? Tommy? Something like that? Let me try and find his name. What's his name? What's your name? Hey, boy. What's your name here? My name's Jackie. That's it, Jackie. Oh, man, Jackie is straight out of the 90s right there. That's like Todd McFarlane's dream. Oh, he wish he looked like that. Evan Starnes. Welcome on in. We're doing graphic novels. This is cool, this is darkness. I'm excited for that, that's awesome. And it's the Deluxe Collected Edition. So that's a major win. Got no duds yet. Got no duds. Oh, Fantastic Four. I like Fantastic Four a lot. Especially when one of them is a zombie. Or two of them is a zombie, okay. Uh, I am always super bummed that Fantastic Four has the crappiest movies. <laughs> it is no fair because their comics are so fun. They have such a cool dynamic, they have all these cool powers, they have cool villains, and uh, they just have, oh boy, as I say all this, I open it up to, thing is the Chiquita Banana Lady. Boom, chicka boom, chicka boom, boom, boom. Um, let's see here, uh, wow, we got zombies and stuff going on here. So this is Ultimate Fantastic Four, Volume 6, Frightful, that's cool, so... Yeah, what's going on here? Guild-ridden Reed Richards attempts to use his greatest failure by using time travel to fix a snag that caused a teleportation accident that resulted Ben Grimm becoming the Thing. If it works, Ben will be free uh, of the Thing and never have existed. Neither will the Fantastic Four. Be careful what you wish for. Um, Mr. Boss, Mr. 99 Boss says you don't know how to donate, uh, but I like the video and you're already subscribed. Well, uh, I'll take a look and see how the donation stuff works, and I'll be doing these live videos more. So um, if you figure it out, or if I figure it out before then, I will let people know how they can donate. But that's awesome that you wanted to, and I appreciate it very much. But um, I guess I'll set that up for people that want to. That's super, super cool. <gasps> it's clobbering time, but I'm a human now. I guess it worked. The art work is uh, very photorealistic here. It's like Mortal Kombat. And then, uh, uh Moy for name, you got a lot of critiques, it seems like, in the chat role. Please fight against some box, and then it would make my channel name more understandable. I've been fighting boxes. Look at this. I beat it. I fought it. I won it. I opened it up, and I beat it. I beat this box. I beat boxes. I used to keep count back in the old days. Back in the very first episodes, 
Man, I kept count. I fight boxes. I fight boxes plenty. Don't you worry. Um, let me see here. Shiva Kumar, welcome on in. Today's your birthday. Wish you a happy birthday. Your name is Krish. Krish, happy birthday to you. Last time I was doing this unboxing uh, live on here, it was my birthday. So happy birthday to you. Wow, we got we got the old August birthdays. Mr. 99 Boss, thanks you the best. Keep it up. I will. Thank you for watching. That's awesome. You want to support? I appreciate it. Oh, I got Fantastic Four number seven. So a continuation is called God War. God War. Hmm, I wonder what it's about. Oh, they probably play God of War all day long. That's cool. So the artwork has definitely changed in this one. Um, it's a more muted style, more muted color patted. Patted? Palette? Oh, you've been talking a while, have you? Well, uh, it looks interesting. But I like Fantastic Four. They can go into cosmic stuff. They can go into magic stuff. They go superhero. They go to outer space. Like, they cover the gamut. I, uh, You know, Avengers, Justice League, like that stuff. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. But Fantastic Four, just the four of them. And they got to deal with all this stuff. And I dig it. Like, inventions, sci-fi. They do it all. And I think that's super cool. So those are major wins. Major ones. What in the world is this? Man, I'm getting a lot of Punisher stuff. Uh, someone must think I'm some sort of a sicko. The Punisher versus the Marvel Universe? Cool. So you just shoot them all? Is it just one page like bang, bang, bang. The Punisher, uh, the Punisher takes on the entire Marvel Universe in a classic tale by one of Frank Castle's signature writers, Garth Ennis. Ooh, he does good stuff. I like his, um, but don't worry. Then he was back for round two, kind of, in a post-apocalyptic war zone filled with cannibalistic super types, plus bullets fly and some of Frank's best clashes with the costumes and capes. Well, this sounds awesome. This is so cool. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, there's Wolverine slashing right away. And then just shooting. Wait, does he shoot Daredevil? Because that'd be funny. I just would like that. I don't know why. Oh, there's... This is... Like, gruesome, but not gruesome. You know what I mean? So, let's see here. Kill them all. Kill them all! Now, there's Venom? What? There's Daredevil. They're fighting, kicking, and punching. This is so cool. And this is huge. It's a huge book. This is, uh... uh well, how many pages is it? It's roughly... Uh, is there any page numbers? I mean, it's just lots. And it's different stuff, too. I guess it's the one story, but then we go into other stuff, too, like other collected things uh, here. Wow, there's a lot. Look at this. There's Captain America. There's Iron Man. More Wolverine. There's Thor. Spiderman. Good old Spiderman. Thanks for joining us, uh, Mr. 99 Boss. We'll see you again soon. Hopefully we'll have some uh, answers by then. But take care, buddy. Oh, okay, so here we go. Punisher kills the Marvel Universe. Uh, Heroes for Hire. Punisher Warzone. Marvel Universe versus the Punisher. Punisher, other comic books, and then Amazing Spider-Man. So this is a lot. This is a big collection here. It's a lot of stuff. Look at that. Look at the old school. Look at the old Nightcrawler and old Spider-Man. That's awesome. Uh, Moy from in. Do I know the high Tory reviewers like Pixel Dan, Shardimus Prime, etc no i've not met them we don't have a gathering place where we go for chocolate milk although i would love it but no uh the community is uh i don't know is there a community for it we just never chatted or done anything so um i don't know them i know of their existence and they probably don't know of mine i'm just gonna say that's not a negative thing I'm just saying hey i'm small potatoes here i am doing uh doing punisher stuff what in the world this punisher 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 Punisher? Punisher? Wow, I got... Wow, Punisher for days, son! <gasps> oh, major win! This is the best thing so far. This is the best. This is the best, this is the best, this is the best. Me happy, grin, grin, happy, happy, smile, smile. Punisher, the complete collection, volume one, uh, by Garth Ennis, uh, the Punisher Max. Like, this is dark stuff. This is like Michael Myers-looking Punisher. It is gruesome. It is cool. I've read a couple of these. But not as many as there are in this uh, issue here. Let me see if I can show you something that's deemed appropriate. Uh, this is so cool. I'm so excited. All right, here. Let's see here. Come on now, show me. Yeah, like, 
This is what I mean by him being sort of Michael Myers-ish. You never really see his eyes. It's always this darkened, shadowed face. It's so cool. Oh, there he is again. It's like a... It's very... It's very horror movie. It's so cool. Like, there he is again. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. Oh, that's graphic. Ooh, what's less graphic? Okay. Uh, so here, like, a different artist took over. And you see his face a little bit more in the light, but... Still, like, creepy and ominous. Ominous? Onimious. <laughs> I knew I'd figure out a wrong word. This is cool. That's awesome. So, how much does this collect? Collects Born 1 through 4 and Punisher 1 through 12. Okay, so Punisher is what I've started to read. Probably read, like, the first four of them or so. This is rad. Oh, it's so rad. <clears throat> well, it has more water. Meow, meow, meow. How you guys doing? You sticking with me? You doing good? Um, <laughs> Moy for Nam, are you married or single? Oh, my star is hitting on me. First a donation one to be had, and then a proposal. Ain't no ring on these fingers. Uh, I am uh, uh, I'm in a relationship with my work of boxes. No, I mean, I got, I got a lady friend. I got a lady friend. What can I say? Uh, the Punisher of the Caribbean. I love it. Can we turn this into a ride? Can we throw Johnny Depp out of there right away? This is cool. Uh, collects Punisher Wars on 26 through 30. And uh, Barbarian with a gun. Why didn't you call it the Punisher of the Caribbean? That would have been way cooler. Uh, I guess it's the first one I read. I like the other title too, but the other one's funnier. Uh, yeah, so this old school war zone right here is cool. Like everybody's a big thug. Hey, Frank Castle, what are you doing over there? Everybody's a huge muscular person. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's old school stuff. Let's see, we get some violence. Oh, look at Punisher right there, grabbing that dude's arm. Oh! Oh! And then he's grabbing it, and then uh, beat up. What? Are these, like, boxing gloves? Like, what is going on here? Big old fight! Sweet revenge! This is a spiked floor. Oh, it's cool. Oh, he punches that guy in there, and he's gonna go on the spikes. That's awesome. Oh, this is awesome. This is totally my style. Alright, Punisher, more Punisher. More Punisher than Marrier. Except for criminals, that is. Let's see your Punisher, River of Blood. <laughs> There's no Punisher gardening on a Thursday. They don't do it. Back in the USSR, oh, you don't know how lucky you are. Oh, so uh, number 31 through 36, Chuck Dixon, who did Nightwing, that I really like. Oh, it's a continuation. Direct continuation, that's cool. So I got some series going right here, so I can get a follow up in the story so let's see here uh there, yeah there's oh there's snow there's gatling guns uh this, this graphic novel seems a little worse for wear like the spine is a little a little sad but that's okay i'll read it gently look at this that gigantic zangief looking dude it's huge oh wow look at all the machine guns going part two comrades so this is this has definitely got a lot of gunplay to it on action and then uh oh he's got a power drill gonna get some information out of the punisher or he's gonna undo his cabinets oh no he's been working on those for so long in ikea this is cool oh look at all this oh that dude got it in a very pg way the way that Marvel does it, except for the explicit stuff. But man, crotch, tap, tap, spang, parish, kabup, a rat, tat, tat. Awesome. I dig that. Man, I am not even more than, I'm halfway through this box. This is crazy. This is crazy. All right, we're going to step it up a little bit. We're going to step it up a little bit. I can't, I can't show back, like, do little bits of everything here. I got to, I got to ramp this thing up. Guardians of the Galaxy, New York Times bestseller, Cosmic Avengers. Ooh, Brian Michael Bendis. I'm into that. Oh, it's number one, too. Cool. I dig that, too. Cosmic Avengers. Oh, that is a creepy portrayal of Rocket Raccoon. Yikes. Mr. Nine Boss is back. Welcome on back into the chat and the watching. This is cool. Got ourselves some Guardians of the Galaxy. I like the artwork. Looks, uh... I'm probably guessing it's a young Peter Quill. Oh, someone got zippity zapped. 
And then, uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. There's the team. We got some Iron Man there. We got Groot with a bad hair day. We got Drax. This looks awesome. This looks like poppy and fun. Dig that. There's Gamora with a sword. I dig it. This is cool. This is a major win. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of Guardians of the Galaxy comps, but this is a major win. That's what I say. AJ, hello! Welcome on in to the chat. How you doing? You do get to see another stream. This is a this is an epic one. Um, this is epic, epic, epic. There's so many graphic novels in here. And I have... What? The Unbeatable Squirrel Girl. When's this becoming a movie? Like, yesterday? Am I just behind the times? I hope this is a movie. I got number one here. Squirrel Power. That's amazing. Uh, Doctor Doom, Deadpool, even Thanos. There's one he hero who's beaten them all. Really? Is that true? Is that one? Okay. <clears throat> I have to read this one. So it collects uh, Unbeatable Squirrel Girl 1 through 4. That's right. It's Squirrel Girl. The nuttiest and most upbeat superhero in the world is starting college. And <laughs> as if meeting her new roommate and getting the class on time isn't hard enough, now she has to deal with Craven the Hunter, too. At least her squirrel friend, Tippy Toe, is on hand to help out. But what can one girl and one squirrel do when a hungry Galactus heads towards Earth? You'd be surprised. Time ringing out. Iron Man lending a helping hand, sort of. Who will win in the battle between the Power Cosmic and the Power Chestnut? Oh my god. This is amazing. I am sold. This is a real duper hero, <laughs> says AJ. Could be a duper hero or a superhero. Yeah, I guess this is a legit thing. I've heard about it before. Always kind of as a joke, but this seems like a, a more recent uh, uh, rendition of it. Let's see what the year was here. The year is 2015. They gotta turn this into something, right? I mean, what's the expectation? Nothing. It can only be fun. Like, there's no people going like, Oh, uh, you're gonna mess her up. Don't do it wrong. This could be anybody. This would be amazing. This is... I. I almost don't want to look through it anymore. It's got super fun, colorful art. I dig that. And uh, it's the unbeatable squirrel girl. And there's a bunch of squirrels. This is amazing. I dig it. And then there's Galactus. What? What? Uh, AJ's saying they're changing the name to JFE. Please remember them. Uh, I will do my best. I will do my best to remember everyone. It may take me a, a minute or two. You miss a lot of streams. No big deal. Hey, they happen sporadically. It's all good. There's no pressure. You can always watch them again later. Wow. Oh, boy. I got more Fantastic Four here. How many Fantastic Fours did it give me? All right. So that seems to be... All right. Let's look at these. Flesh and Stone and Imaginots. Or Imagine Yeses. So let's see here. Flesh and Stone. Uh, Jeff Loeb, Wordsmith. Oh, they just asking for really big words. Ooh, this one's got a scent to it. <laughs> this one smells like really old newspaper. Hmm, I don't know what to do about that. Might have to leave it out in the sun a little bit and bake on 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 off on that. Uh, Moifin name saying, please call me Moises. Uh, all right, I'll change your name to Moises. Uh, please call me Mr. Box. That's what I say. Uh, like Spotify. JFI. Ah, okay, JFI. Got it. Got it, AJ. JFI. Uh, I might forget right away, but I like the way that you say that. Like Spotify, JFI. Oh, this looks pretty good. You know what? Just to be controversial, I'm going to go, I'm not that excited for this one. Oh, because it's got a big dent in the back. What the heck? All right, well, that's a, I got a lot of Fantastic Four now. I talked a big game, and now, <laughs> now, now, yeah. Well, AJ, this is a huge box. I thought I was going to be done soon. I wasn't close, so I'm stepping it up a little bit. This one is uh, Imagine Knots. This one looks cool. Looks cool. Ah, oh, there's the Fantastic Four rocking it. Doing their thing. And then, uh, let's see, who wrote these? Oh, wait a minute. I've read this one. I have this one. This is Mark Wade, is it not? It is. All right, well, I guess it's just in a different collection than what I normally have, but I got a repeat, but packaged differently. So yeah, this is cool, like Dr. Doom messes with everybody, sends the kid uh, to H-E double hockey sticks, which is a bit of a jump, I must say. <laughs> which is a bit of a jump. Um, yes, this is an epic unboxing, so hey, share it. 
spread it around. Hit like, hit uh, hit subscribe because I'm I'm working hard here. I'm working up a sweat. <clears throat> so uh, yes, it was appreciated that someone wanted to donate, but they didn't know how. Cause hey, for these longer ones, I appreciate it. Look, see a demon bites his arm. It's crazy, crazy. Um, see uh, uh, all right. So that's so that was a repeat. Never have I had that before. Whoa. Daredevil, Man Without Fear by Ed Brubaker. Volume 1. This is a big one. Ultimate Collection. Oh, I've, I think I've heard about this, but I just don't know the story. Now, for the past few years, Matt Murdock's life has been teetering on the edge of destruction. Now pushed beyond the limit, Matt finds himself with no clear way out. People would call his friends slowly de deserting him. And Hell's Kitchen gradually slipping out of control. The question is, how far will Daredevil go to reclaim what's his? Do we really know all there is to know about Daredevil's best friend, Foggy Nelson? Foggy Nelson? All right, that shows I haven't read a lot of Daredevil. Foggy Nelson? Okay. All right. Well, the art style looks super cool. It's really dark and uh, like film noirish. Dig that. Look at that. All the rain. That looks neat. Am I tired? What am I boxing? No way, man. I got the energy for days. Whew, I need a nap. Oof. Oof. No, I'll be all right. I want to see all these comics. These are, these are a surprise to me. These are, I don't know what's in here. I don't know what's coming. And uh, I'm excited for a lot of these. Only a couple of these. I'm like, eh, kind of a dud. Meh, kind of a dud. Two daredevils. What the what? What the what? This looks cool, though. Uh, I definitely don't know it. All right. I'm in. That's awesome. That's awesome. I got a lot of reading to do tonight. <laughs> Heroes for Hire? What in the world? All right. Um, also featuring villains for hire. The Complete Collection. Well, let's see here. We got Electra. We got Iron Fist. We got Moon Knight. We got Ghost Rider. We got Punisher. Well, I have not read much of them. I've read some of them. But uh, this will be interesting. This is super weird. All right. Well, let's see. Let's look at the back a little bit. With those words, Misty Knight enlists streetwise vigilantes to tackle the jobs of no other super team will. She calls people listening, including Falcon, Black Widow, Ghost Rider, Silver Sable, Moon Knight, and Paladin. Okay. It's a hodgepodge. Hodgepodge. Uh, so, I mean... That's neat, because I don't know a lot about these other characters. Like, I know of Moon Knight and Silver Sable, but I don't know a whole lot about them. So I guess this, this will learn me up real goodly. And this is huge, too, so that's cool. And Ghost Rider, I'm always down. Unless it's some of the Nick Cage movies. Oh, I wanted to like those so bad. Uh, but this seems cool. Has anybody uh, read these yet? This is big. This is digging. Let's see what the chat's saying. Uh, you're watching till the end. Oh, that's awesome. Scott, why did the Sideshow Collectibles unboxing stream end abruptly? Oh, I don't know that it, I didn't know that it did. I thought it I thought it went fine. Uh, I didn't know that there was a technical issue. Um, but if there was, I apologize. I just did it on my end, it was still going. So uh, I don't know. A mic glitch. Oh boy. I don't know. Sometimes I, I think everything's going fine on my end and it's just streaming and I don't know. I don't know! But I do the best that I can with the tools that I have. Here's another Heroes for Hire, Luke Cage, Iron Fist, and Deadpool. That's cool. Uh, so I got another one of these. All right. This is also a, a big collection of stuff. We got Iron Fist. Man, I, I, I was not into Iron Fist. I hope I will be by the time I read these things because I think he's kind of a dope. I think he's kind of a dope. There, I said it. The mic is glitching. All right, well, hopefully uh, it won't be anymore. Let me see if I can try an adjustment here. Ended when I was answering a question suddenly. Oh, well, I don't know. Sorry about that. Does it still, when you try and go back and watch it, is it still all messed up? Uh, Mr. 99 Boss, today's your sister's birthday. Happy birthday to your sister. Uh, Miss 99 Boss. I got to assume that's her name. All right, so it's, it's definitely uh, bright and colorful, but doesn't necessarily mean it's good. All right, not so excited for this, but I'm down. Deadpool's in it. So, okay. Whew. 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 We got a few more left. I'm going to just haul them out of here. Get rid of this box. All right. 
that box is done now. Oh my goodness. It looks like there's see like four or five more. Oh my goodness. What is this? There's just a bunch of Fantastic Fours. Ultimate Fantastic Four one, three, four, five. What is this? I got oh man. Like I got one, three, four, five, six, seven. No two. I'll be so confused. Boy, that's annoying. Look at that. Yeah, one, three, four, five, six, seven. No two. Oh my goodness. So I just gotta assume two is dumb, I guess. Cause this isn't two. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, so there's a bunch of Fantastic Fours there. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we just assume there he's stretching and he's clobbering stuff. And then we got Mutant Menace, The Pulse, Secret War. What is this? It's a cool cover, that's for sure. I will judge a book by its cover, and this is a good one. Um, Mutant Menace. Oh, what is this? I don't know what this is. Anybody know what this is? You know what this is? I don't know what this is. I don't see any superheroes. <laughs> Where the superheroes go? Is Wolverine Claw in the front? Is he mad? Cause we, oh, there's J. Jonah Jameson with his Hitler mustache. We know your game, sir. Where's the superheroes? Is it just about the paper? The lives of private investigator Jessica Jones and her... Oh! All right. Uh, Drax the Destroyer, Earth's Fall. Is he busting out of his own head here? What's going on? Katao Kai. Hello! Welcome on into the chat. Uh, nice to have you. This has been an epic one. We're doing graphic novels. It's a mystery lot. I don't know what they are. Until now, I know what a bunch of them are. And we've been looking through them. Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, Drax, Fantastic Four for Days, Punisher, Walking Dead. It's been crazy. It's been crazy. So is that... Oh, this looks okay. I mean, all these, you know, you can read a little bit. Was there Thanos in there? Is there Thanos? Well, they drew Thanos on the back. You can't put him in there without without knowing. Katao Kai is my bro. Oh, well, that's good to know, AJ. I'm glad your bros uh, jumped on in. Just join. Thanks for joining. Be sure to subscribe and all that good stuff. And man, I got a lot of reading to do. Am I gonna do a more unboxings this week? I might, might have to. Katow, Katow. Okay, I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. <gasps> what can I say? Look at all this. Look at literature can be fun, especially with those pictures. Oh, Fantastic Four Heroes for Hire. What are you most excited for in all this? The Star Trek. Star Trek Next Generation. Thief of Thieves, Daredevil, a bit of a squirrel girl, Guardians of the Galaxy, The Darkness, The Walking Dead, uh, Hack Slash, my goodness, Wanted, my goodness, Kaito, all right, <laughs> now you're just writing them all, um, oh man, I don't know where to start, uh, probably start with a nap, I'll do that first, I'll finish my Captain America one I'm currently reading right now, but then, yeah, let's go this one. Let's go this one right away. It's not too big. Oh, well, it's volume two. So, okay, sure. Start there. This is crazy. Thank you for joining me on this epic unboxing, everybody. I hope you had fun. I know I had fun. This is a lot. This is crazy. And the amount of money that I spent on this was not uh, equal to the amount of comics that I got. Basically saying, I got a heck of a deal unless all of these stink. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be back again soon once they move all this out of the way and put it somewhere. Somewhere. Um, so thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to hit that like. Be sure to hit that subscribe. Be sure to share videos. And I'll be back with more regular videos and more live unboxing soon. When? Who knows? And there'll be more giveaways soon. We've already done one giveaway. And uh, it was the New Kids on the Block cards. So uh, as long as those people uh, claim their prize, then there'll be more giveaways soon. And so rock on, everybody. And take care. Good night.